hello everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for coming i know you'll be thinking did i click on the wrong video no you're on the right place we're actually making the jollof rice on the thumbnail but i wanted you to feed your eyes first by showing you all these goodies all these recipes you are seeing you can find on my channel please check them out and i also want to use this opportunity to thank you for coming if it's your first time here my name is janet and my channel is all about cooking Turn your subscriber button, turn on your notification bell, and hit the like button. Thank you so much, guys. Let's head over to the kitchen. So these are our ingredients for the jollof rice. Let me start by showing you the tomato. This tomato is already boiled with salt and maggi. Yeah, this is my choice of rice. You either see me using jasmine rice or basmati rice. This is basmati rice. I have some vegetable oil. This is sunflower oil. I've got some peppers and I've got some herbs, rosemary, bay leaf, and this particular one, which I don't know the name. If I remember, I'm going to link it down below. And here I've got some roasted onions, garlic, and red bell peppers. The reason I roasted this is because I want that taste of smoky jollof rice on this particular jollof rice. And here I've got some salt, curry thyme, billion cubes, ginger, and I'll add in some aniseed as well. And in here I've got some chicken. This is very hard. This is the hardest chicken you can ever find at the market. Yeah, I prefer to go for the hard chicken. So to season the meat, I'm going to start by adding some salt, billion cubes, some ginger powder. I'm adding the powder because I don't have fresh ginger at home. Curry. Some thyme and pepper. I was about forgetting my herbs. This is aniseed. Add some onion. Then I'm going to cover it to simmer for at least 10 minutes without adding water on it. Guys, for, please forgive the noise of the dog. I have a neighbor who has dog. So the dog, the dog is really making noise this morning. So I'm going to simmer for 10 minutes without water on it. I want this chicken to release its own juice and then we will be back. Another 10 minutes, I'm just going to give it a stir and then add some water on it. Remember, this chicken is very hard. I will cover to cook until it becomes almost 90% cooked. Chicken has been cooking for over 25 minutes and at this point I think it's okay. I am going to be grilling this chicken, not frying it at all. So before putting the chicken in the oven, I'm going to be adding some soya spice. This is optional, okay? Just to give it that extra hotness. And then I'll add some olive oil. I don't want it to be too dry inside the oven. This is going into the oven for about 12 minutes for 180 degree. Just until the color becomes a little bit browner than this one. If you haven't tried your chicken like this, give it a try and you will come back to thank me later. So see you guys. be going for extra Korean time even though I I still have it in my meat stock
instead of using tomato paste, I just prefer using this grilled tatashi or bell pepper. You see? So reddish. adding my bay leaf even though I added some white boiling the meat but I'm still going to add this one Point, I'm going to add my rice. I already have everything inside my meat stock. Even the tomato I boil with stock and salt, so I won't be adding anything here until maybe after I added the meat stock, and then I'll see if I have to add any other thing. And here comes the meat stock. At this point I'm going to cover and then I lower my flame and cook this rice until I see that it's soft enough. We're going to turn it around and then we'll cover and allow to steam for extra five minutes. Jollof rice is ready. Looking so good and inviting. Perfect color. This is the work of the red bell pepper. Chicken is also ready. I just love the color of this chicken. It's so soft, so tender. I have also salad here. We are going to pair in that with this salad. Yeah, so thank you for watching. I will see you on my next video. Thank you. Bye.